All right, good morning. Hi, Aries. This is gonna, I mean, Aries, wow. No, this is Taurus. So some of y'all could have Aries in your chart. Maybe you're on the cusp. Uh, you could be an Aries with Taurus placements or you could be a Taurus with Aries, uh, Aries with Taurus placements or a Taurus with Aries placements. Or you could be dealing with somebody that has Aries in their chart. My bad, or you do. This is for Taurus placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? <laughs> what do Taurus placements need to know right now? So we have locked down, mental, prison, and confined. So somebody here, yeah, we got grip, anchor, chains, way down. So I don't know if this is how you're feeling or this is how someone around you is feeling, but somebody could be in prison or they're in this mental prison. Somebody feels like really tied down to something, someone. Somebody here could be in a commitment that they don't really want to be in, but they're not closing. They're not learning this lesson with this done here in reverse completion lesson learned somebody here could the reason why they're stuck in something or this is you is because a lesson hasn't been learned somebody could be with somebody that's non-committal or they don't really or they could be trying to get out of a commitment what else so this is you we got escapade vacation hideaway and adventure some y'all yeah somebody's trying to somebody wants to get away for some of y'all some y'all could be boggled down with work responsibilities if it's not another person and for others of you some y'all could need a vacation if you if you you know can't afford one take a staycation from work hopefully you can do that if you have the days um if not then shit i don't know but somebody here could need to you know look into that somebody here needs to take a vacation or a break or somebody is trying to escape you're racing running and avoiding somebody is trying to avoid something i guess what you they're trying to come to you to avoid something or they're trying to use you as an escape from something in their life Well, this is you know again flip and switch it this could be you but somebody can't run from something anymore verge about to reveal and confess okay let's let's see <laughs> yeah triggers name car and place what's going on with taurus yeah desire somebody could be going through some legalities that they're trying to avoid or dodge uh lust sexual chemistry yeah somebody is trying to come in and use you for what sex Okay, we got pretending, fake, living beyond means, and we have drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos, negotiator, bargaining and begging, and bounty hunter, chaser, hard pursuit today. Yeah, obsession, must have, indulgence, crickets. Yeah, I feel like when this person tries to reach out to you, they're gonna, they're not gonna be able to get through. I feel like somebody here either, somebody could be dealing with a drama queen or you, you could be a Taurus man dealing with a drama queen or Taurus, if you're a woman, there's a man that's in your energy that's dealing with a drama queen. Or you could be the drama queen, cross watcher, it could be Taurus that's a drama queen. I don't, you know, I don't know who's watching. But somebody here is causing chaos and somebody wants to get away. But this person, fake living beyond means, somebody here, see, you know, this person likes to pretend that's their problem. That's somebody's problem. Somebody could have gotten with somebody just for money, status, or, you know, I, let, let, let's see. What's lockdown, mental, prison, confined? Somebody here could be a dancer. Somebody here could be going to carnival. What's lockdown? Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Venus and Virgo, yeah, somebody lives beyond their means. Nine of Pentacles is living beyond your means, spending beyond your means. Somebody's in a mental imprisonment because they want to look like something that they're not. Somebody here could be a scam artist. Somebody's also codependent, so they get themselves stuck in situations with people that they can't really get out of, or they're stuck with somebody that they're codependent on, or whoever, or they're or who's codependent on them. Somebody's really materialistic. What's lockdown? Somebody could be going to jail for scamming. Yeah, page of pentacles. There could be evidence of something. Somebody, yeah, judgment here. Somebody could be going, could be under judgments. Apportioning blame is being done here with the judgment here. Somebody could have court. Some of y'all could have jury duty. What's this nine of pentacles in, in reverse? 
three of pentacles yeah this was a group there was a group effort to do something two of pentacles in reverse uh jupiter and capricorn this could be a couple that could have did this against you or there was a group here three of pentacles mars and capricorn somebody could be working on a case here i mean something will do with somebody's money there's three pentacle cards out here Somebody was scamming. And this could be a group of people going down for something. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Wands, the Fool here. This person needs your help. Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sag, the Fool, Aquarius, Aries energy. This person is about to take a risk and reach out to you. For some young y'all are dealing with somebody that's in prison and they're going to reach out to you to send you a letter. Or maybe they need something on a commissary or whatever. For others of you, um, somebody's going to take a chance to reach out to you, to text you. I guess, or, or for a friend. Somebody here could have friend zoned you or they want to, somebody wants to stay connected to somebody for help somebody that that's what it is somebody here could wear glasses some y'all could be getting new glasses or you can need glasses your child can need glasses but somebody here they think you're gullible naive i don't know what they i don't know what this is but mm, what's the eight of wands and the fool yeah the the emperor here air heavy aries so go watch aries there's a reading I did for Aries a couple of readings back, and it says after everything, they, they want your help. They feel entitled to your help after everything they put you through. Go watch that reading. Every Go to the play. Every zodiac sign has their own playlist. Go to Aries and um, go watch that. I feel like somebody feels entitled to your help. This could be a father figure. For some of you guys, some of y'all could be getting a... Um, Somebody could be getting a new position at work as a supervisor, a manager. Yeah, somebody needs help. <laughs> Bad. This person could feel like because y'all have history, because y'all have kids possibly, or because you guys are siblings, because you guys been friends, because y'all are co-workers or because of whatever, they feel like they're, I don't, you know, Somebody wants your help or they want to help you or something, maybe. But somebody's about to take the risk to reach out to you or take some type of action. For some of you guys, you could have been trying to do something all on your own and you can need help or you've been waiting. Because some of y'all, this could even be like a business partnership or business contract or business deal. You could have been trying to work with other people, but you're going to get farther working with yourself. For some of you. Six of Cups here. Scorpio Sun Energy. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn. Somebody could have taken something. Somebody could have stolen something from you. Somebody could have stolen something from a child as well. Four of Pentacles in reverse could be losing something of value. Somebody could be losing a lot of money. So they want to come out the code with you. Five of Pentacles in reverse and reconcile and heal something with you. It's no, yeah, six the sun here, six of pentacles. You know what this person wants. Six of pentacles in reverse. Uh moon and Taurus. The sun here, Leo energy. You or this person could have Leo in their chart. Somebody wants or needs something from you, whether it's energy, money, time, sex, whatever. They they want and need something from you. Somebody is in a really vulnerable position right now. They're gonna probably try to kiss your ass. They're probably going to try to come bearing gifts if y'all got kids and they haven't done shit for your kids. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul to get back on your good side just so you can be, they can be on good standing with you. This person needs as much allies as possible. This could be a coworker who wants to kiss your ass now, a manager, supervisor, a, a parental figure of you, you know, whoever, a friend, sibling, whoever it is, neighbor. Somebody's abusing their authority, or they did in the past, or they're trying to. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody, yeah, there's something is is very transactional. Very transactional. This person could have stolen from you to give to somebody else. Yeah, five of swords, or this person could just be a criminal. They could five of swords in reverse is a criminal. Somebody can have a very incriminating mind. Go watch a reading I did for you as well, Taurus. It's called um, crimin Criminal Minds. 
And it was about a group of people that were trying to like take something from you, steal, rob you, all types of shit. So go watch that. This could be somebody trying to take a, a raise, a promotion from you, um, try to probably actually rob you. So just be careful or and it's something energetically. But yeah, you know with the sun here, it, it, this person exposes themselves. They only Somebody only comes around when they want something. Or if you're doing this, somebody knows why you come around. What's this page of pentacles? Yeah, the, okay. Ace of Cups in reverse. Unrequited love. Ain't no love here. The, the devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. You taking your power back. Some of y'all friends on somebody because it's like maybe you wanted it to be something romantic, but you just realized they don't have much to offer you or they could have friends on you because they feel like you didn't have much to offer, but now they need your help or they didn't think they had much to offer. I don't, who, you know, how you know how it's going. Flip and switch it. But the Ace of Cups could be disappointment. There could be proof or evidence of something that's going to be really disappointing. But it's going to help you take your power back. It's going to help you take the swords out of your back. It's going to help you accept something for what it is. Okay, well, this is somebody else. Ace of Cups with, in reverse and the Devil in reverse. Yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, something is just about money. There's no love here. Moon and Taurus with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody just needs your help and support. Somebody wants to, somebody's been you, or somebody's being used. Somebody don't, and somebody could also be breadcrumbing you. There's no love here. Something is very transactional. It's very, you do this for me, I do that for you. Somebody can also be an Indian giver. They, they're going to give you something and they take it back if you, if you don't do what they want or if they, if you can't, if you won't be under their control for some of y'all. Whether this is a manager, a, 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 a mother or father figure of your own, or somebody that you got kids with, a friend, sibling, whoever. This person could be a father figure. Maybe they got somebody in their energy that is always asking them for money for shit. Somebody here is really codependent. They, 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 they're not, somebody here could either, this is this person or they're dealing with somebody that like that wants to look like they got it but they really don't they need this emperor they need this father figure they need whoever this is to make it look like there's something that they're not some y'all are not giving to this person no more this person is not giving to this person no more, no more. somebody needs to stop uh six of pentacles in the verse somebody can't really give much to you yeah okay i don't know how this death card wanted to fall out i'll put it up right i mean reverse yeah, the world in reverse, the four wands in reverse. Somebody is stuck in a home, family dynamic, or some type of community or environment. This could be hostility in a workplace. The Your systems, for those of you who, something could be going on with your internet, your Wi-Fi, the computers, the systems could be down, the site could be crashing. It could be the area, you know, maybe your area sucks when it comes to Wi-Fi. You could be having a hard time working from home because of that or your work area, the service that the it's not good for some of y'all. I'm also getting somebody wants you to feel for other for some of you guys, if you try to work with others or try to collaborate and then it didn't work for you, a lot of y'all could be taking the risk to start your own thing and take action in some area of your life. It could have something to do with your finances or you just feeling self-sufficient. Somebody wants you to fear or make you feel like you need them for something or without them, you can't come into this emperor energy. And that's not true. Death in reverse, Scorpio energy. You or someone can have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, somebody is, they can't give you nothing, much of something because they still got a cycle open with somebody from their past or someone that they were dealing with who is using them. <laughs> and they're trying to come and use you for something, whether it's using you for sex, money, or whatever. Death in reverse? Absolutely not. Yeah, the hair of in reverse. Somebody here could be going to jail. Death in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. This person's a liar. There's animosity. Somebody here could be going to jail for fraud. Somebody tried it. You had a temperance here. Somebody, you're protected from something. Somebody here, yeah, somebody is lazy. Not a pentacles. They start things. They don't finish. The world in reverse. Something is, a goal has not been completed or achieved. Somebody's an underachiever. Because they live, they, they just live their moocher. Man or woman. Somebody's a fucking moocher. Somebody can't, they don't finish what they start. I don't, Ace of Swords in reverse. 
yeah, nine of wands, they come in and out of your energy. They're really aloof with you. They don't really open up emotionally. Three of cups in reverse. They can have third parties or they can have you as a third party. Nine of wands, November Sag, November Scorpio. You can have a Sagittarius in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be a January Capricorn, January Aquarius. They come off really aloof. Somebody could be cutting out a third party or they need to. Somebody needs to get away from someone or something or a community of people or a group of people, family, friends. Somebody can have fake ass friends. I feel like somebody's realizing, seeing something about a person or people around them. Who's this emperor? Yeah, the seven of wands in reverse. So there could be communication coming in from somebody, Mars and Leo. Something could have backfired on somebody as well. Somebody could be unblocking somebody or they want you to unblock them. Or they're really defensive. They, you know, they're uncompromising. They only want to work with you when it benefits them. For some of you, whoever this person is. Nine of Wands, Moon and Sagittarius. This person is wounded. They're in they're in negative cycles. This person is blocked from coming towards you. Somebody could be getting arrested. Chariot and the justice in reverse. Somebody's karma, will of fortune in reverse is not looking too good. And if they and this person could have traumatized you in some kind of way with this or whatever the bullshit they put you through, now they're going through it. Now they're in some type of mental imprisonment. Go watch your last reading. <laughs> that got over 2,000 views. That got a lot. Of, I was shocked. I was like, oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, moon, yeah, nine of wands. You could be on guard with this person because, and it's gonna be an, it's gonna be the same pattern if you get back with this person. It's gonna be the same thing. Oh, you know, and you know, and the reason why it's gonna be the same thing is because this person is not making changes in their life. That's why they're going through this. And if you take this person back, it is, it is Mercury retrograde. If you, you know, people coming back from your past, past feelings are coming back, old memories are resurfacing. People think that's an art. People think, oh, you know, people think they have, they're supposed to go back to somebody if they think about them a lot or if they can't let them go. Sometimes you can't let somebody go because you're not making changes within yourself. And when we don't, and it's not enough to break up with people. We not only have to break up with people, but we have to put in, we have to put a death and an end to the parts of ourselves that, or change parts of ourselves that made us more susceptible and more tolerable of these type of connections and people and circumstances. Just breaking up with somebody is not enough. If you don't, if you're not making changes to who you are and transmuting certain things and realizing like, wow, I tolerated this because of X, Y, and Z about myself, you're going to be liable to go back to that particular person or be with a new person that's going to mimic the same thing. Something is just an ongoing battle is like beating a dead horse. It's a negative pattern that's on repeat. Or this person got them. This person could be in and out of jail. They're always in and out of trouble. You know, it's always stuff, something, they're in and out of jobs. They're in and out of something. Somebody just, they can't, somebody just is lost in life. Somebody is lost and somebody is just, they need to grow up. Somebody is lost. This person could be trying to find their purpose. I don't know. They can have a lot of oppressed trauma going on within inside of them. Who knows? But man or woman is not, you know, it's not your responsibility. Somebody wants you to, somebody wants you to go through their karma with them. They feel like, you know, you should be feeling what they're feeling. They are trying to, they want to project their destiny and their ill fated shit onto you. And you didn't do nothing to this person. You wasn't perfect, but you don't deserve this. Why should you be the receiving end of somebody's uh, bad decisions and choices in life? Why? That doesn't make no sense. Somebody could be trying to reach out to y'all from weird numbers, iMessages, emails, and stuff as well. What's escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure? Yes, six of swords. Somebody here wants to, but what, no, what, no matter where this person goes, something's going to follow somebody everywhere. And if they don't get this drama, if they don't get stuff in order with this drama queen that they're dealing with, they're going to have problems with, and they're not, somebody has, it, it's not the person that they're dealing with, it's their issue with boundaries. And, ha and, ha and it has manifested into them tolerating or putting up with a drama queen or king. So even if, they, even if they run away and run to you, if they don't have no boundaries, it's going to be another man or woman that comes in and invades their space. Or they're going to sit there and let you walk all over them. That's not going to be attractive to you. Or they're going to try to walk all over you. 
either or somebody here lacks boundaries somebody needs better boundaries they know how to set boundaries with the with the with people that they don't have that that actually respects them but they can't set boundaries with a person who doesn't well this is you six of swords mercury and aquarius somebody here is trying to get away what's escapade somebody could be on the run they could be trying to hide or whatever escapade yeah seven of swords child somebody could be trying to disguise or 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 somebody could be under a whole different a lot of at what do you call that Ali, that when if somebody's under a different name and identity it's a name for it, it starts with an a let me know in the comments i think it's alias or alias but anyways moon and aquarius here somebody they could try to use your identity for something and they got the nerve to sit there and want your help or use your kids people do shit like that too but anyways moon and aquarius somebody is trying to get away they're either trying to sneak their way back in because they're trying to run away or hide or or from someone or something but king of cups in reverse the king of wands in reverse the four of cups moon and cancer with the four of cups the king of wands aries leo sagittarius cancer energy somebody could be born in july king of cups here cancer pisces scorpio libra energy somebody could be uh october libra october scorpio there's no emotions this person is reckless with their sex life they got a big ego they they're they're, they're very they they don't they're always moping about moping and groaning about something but they're they're, they're in this self-absorbed woe is me energy but they don't want to take no proper and correct action to get their shit together somebody here they're in a teenager is 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 is, is, is fucked up Somebody here could be drinking a lot. They, they, they have Ace of Cups in reverse, the King of Cups in reverse. There's no, somebody's emotions are either repressed or they have none for you. And whether they have them for you or not, if they're repressed, they're not going to treat you well. So it's still a no. You're, gonna, you're not going to be happy accepting this or dealing with people. If it's not even a particular person, it could just be people that just want to come date you or whatever. If they're in this King of or if they're in this King of Cups, King of Wands energy, or if you're a man, they put you in this King of Cups, King of Wands energy where you're depressed, moody, reactive, agitated, aggressive. That's not for you. And if you're a woman and this person's emotionally unavailable, it's probably because they're committed somewhere else. And they're only going to be able to, they're going to just break from you and use you for sex. They're not going to meet your needs. Your emotions are going to be ignored. This person's also not going to accept your offer. They're not going to accept any type of love because that's not what they're here for. Six of Swords. Uh, this is a past person, past, new, whatever. Six of Swords. Yeah, the sun here. Somebody, some of y'all could need to go on vacation. Well, you need to, you could be trying to get away from this person. This person could be crazy. The sun. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's very something is some somebody's behavior and their emotional state could be is exposed. Somebody could be emotionally ruthless, they're closed off. Somebody here can drink a lot. Somebody could be trying to run away or get away from some type of sexual assault that they committed. Or this person could have assaulted you in the past or recently and you're trying to get away. Somebody could have did something to somebody on vacation or when they was spending time with somebody. King of Cups in reverse. Something could be getting exposed about this King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person, King of Swords, they're very aloof. Sagittarius energy. Somebody can have Sag in their chart. This person is very aloof, cold, detached. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Will of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius Pisces energy. Somebody, something is going. Somebody, somebody's destiny and fate does not look good. Go watch Sagittarius's reading too. It's not looking good. The chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. You or somebody can have cancer in their chart. Yeah, this person, Be if you're on vacation, be careful about people trying to slip things in your drinks or be very careful for those of you who are on vacation. Yeah, three of cups in reverse, Mercury and cancer. Be careful. Some of y'all got some friends or somebody could have went on vacation with a group of friends and they let something happen to their friends. Somebody could have left their friend unattended and something could have happened. These is fake ass friends or somebody here is dealing with a third party that's really hateful. Somebody here could be prejudiced as well. Somebody is really hateful. This could be a hate group, a hate crime. What's the chariot in reverse? High priestess, cancer Pisces. Somebody's keeping, somebody knows the truth about what happened or what's going on or what they're doing or what was done to you or whatever. And they're keeping this to themselves. And that's why they're not going to be allowed to come towards you. Somebody could be getting locked up while you're on vacation or something. Or they're going through something when you're away. Or when soon as you turn your back on this person, they, they like winter shit. 
What's this high priestess? Yeah, some evidence, proof. Page of Wands. Something could be going on with kids or somebody could like to deal with people that's really younger than them. Or you can have kids with this person or somebody. Or if you don't have kids, somebody's really immature. This person could secretly like um, look at your pictures, pleasure themselves to you. This person could be trying to hit you up in secret, flirt with you. Or they want to. This person is just trying to come in and get and and get their rocks off. And if this, and if you're a man, they could be using you for that too. Men get used for sex too, or they could be using you for money. Maybe, maybe they know what you like sexually, so they they're trying to come in for that. And if you're a woman, they know what you want to hear, or they're trying to flirt with you, like your pictures, like like your post, or whatever this is. Seven of Swords. Some of y'all, some of y'all are really intuitive. Nine of Swords in reverse, and this person don't really, they don't really feel that guilty. If, if this person could get away with something, they're not gonna feel bad about it. Mars and uh, Gemini with this Nine of Swords here. Make no mistake about it. If somebody does feel bad, it's only because they got caught. If this person could keep getting away with things, they wouldn't feel, they wouldn't give a damn. Nine of Swords in reverse. Somebody sees something as a game. They like this, whatever they're doing. Nine of Swords in reverse. Temperance here. Yeah, this person wants to, um, some of y'all could be seeing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to a situation. Y'all could be having trust issues. You can, Sagittarius here. Y'all are being protected from something. If y'all are having issues with insomnia, I feel like that's getting better, or your sleep patterns, you can need to work on your nightly routines. Some of y'all need to work on, you could, your, sh your shoulders could be like really high. Some of y'all, if, especially if you sit all day, you can need to shrug your shoulders back and down, okay? Mm -hmm. You could be having a lot of tension, especially if you're a man. Men hold emotions in their shoulders and their upper body and their upper back and stuff. And women hold uh, emotions and trauma in their hips. Okay, that's, you know, women's legs are stronger, men's upper body is stronger. That's where we store our emotions. Temperance. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Somebody could be trying to sober up. Somebody sees you as like a rehabilitation center. When they need to go, really go to a real one. Seven of cups, seven of wands, seven of swords. You could be seeing seven, seven, seven. You're not, you're nobody's rehabilitation center. Some of you guys, your energy could be really healing Somebody is treating you like a fucking concubine, a mistress, high priestess, page of wands. They're secretly watching you or secretly pleasuring themselves to you, like I said. <sighs> uh, Leo got 777. So you or somebody can have Leo in their chart. Somebody could be secretly into younger ki like kids or people way younger than them. Something creepy here. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody here can do a lot of, somebody here could drink and do a lot of, somebody could be putting date rape drugs and people's, women's drinks or men's drinks to take money from men, to abuse men, or to do it to women. People crazy. It happens to men. Didn't Cardi B say she used to do that to men? To rob them and steal them? So it happens to men. But, you know, be careful. Uh, especially for those of you on vacation or you just trying to drink, go out, have fun. And you know, whether you're going alone or with people, just don't leave your drinks unattended. Somebody's putting something in somebody's drinks or you may feel a little, you need to be careful. Seven of Cups in reverse. And if you're, and don't leave, don't, don't stray away from your friends. Those of you that are on vacation. Strength card here in reverse, Leo energy. You or somebody can have Leo in their chart. Seven of Cups in reverse my, also is Venus and Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's trying to make catch somebody in a vulnerable state. I don't know if somebody wants to get you on vacation to do something to you, or you could have met this person while vacating online or whatever. Or if this is your partner, they could be on vacation doing shit, you know, not, not to put nothing in, you know, but you watching Tarot for a reason. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, August Virgo, August Leo, Knight of Cups here, Pisces, Aquarius, February Pisces or Aquarius. Somebody's very insincere. They're trying to come in with a dirty offer. They're insincere with their feelings. Somebody could also be a troublemaker. They're unreliable, insincere. You can't depend on them. They're lazy. They want shortcuts. Somebody's just a user, man or woman. Strength in reverse. Nine of Cups, somebody's only coming. Yeah, somebody is doing something for pleasure. And they, I feel like somebody is trying to take advantage of somebody in some kind of way. Somebody that they're with can know that they masturbate or fantasize about you sexually. But I feel like whoever they're with don't care. 
as long as they're getting money or some attention or as long as they think they can have control over this person or they can keep up this image this family image or whatever this is they don't care seven of pentacles in reverse saturn and taurus the magician in reverse virgo gemini page of cups in reverse somebody is jealous they're envious they're obsessed with their image they're very manipulative this could be a friend of yours who purposely knows that somebody's a creep and they connect you with this person or they know this person is no good or they or you on a trip or you at the bar you somewhere with a fake friend a family member a cousin friend of the family or whoever co-worker they purposely gonna let somebody put something in your stuff to have you at a disadvantage for some of y'all and this could be something that was even planned Somebody wants, somebody wanted, somebody is so jealous of you. You may not even realize this. They want to win something at all costs. This person could have secretly hooked up your uh, ex of yours with somebody else or whatever this case is. Or this could be an ex of yours. If you're a woman, you can have an ex who's trying to do this, who's trying to have this be done to you. Or somebody that you dated or slept with or, you know, you father kids with them. For some of you, not everybody, ha not everyone has kids. But yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is frustrated. Something's not growing. They made a bad investment. They're losing a lot of money. Somebody could be a scam artist. They don't have the resources to do something. So they want to go and take from other people. Yeah, somebody's a criminal. Nine of swords in reverse. They're, they're impulsive. They lack common sense. They're not smart. Somebody could be doing something, attacking you spiritually. Somebody could be trying to lay somebody's weed. They're trying to say, somebody's going to get locked up for this. Somebody's going to get locked up for this. They're going to go to spiritual jail or real jail. Or, or their life is going to feel like they're in prison and they're not going to be able to bother you. But somebody here, they get off on you in some kind of way. Whether it's your pictures, they do this in secret. Somebody's very self-gratifying, very, they like to overindulge. Somebody here can even be sick from overindulging. They could have caught something from, yeah. What's pretending, fake living beyond means? You could be seeing 999 as well, nine of cups. Um, nine of cups, hold on. Um, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, nine of swords. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Leo, living beyond means. You could be seeing uh, 666 as well. Who else had these numbers? Yeah, somebody is is, is pretending. They, they know how to pretend. They wear a mask. They're very charming. They know how to get what they want from people. They don't give a fuck about nobody, at least not right now. When somebody's in survival mode, they don't care about sincerity or morals, ethics, values, integrity, honesty. They, they, they just care about getting what they need. This could even be for drugs, addictions, power, control, to, to have one up on you. They don't, when people are deeply, somebody has become their abuser as well. Because that page of cups in reverse, somebody could have been abused as a child. And that could be why they're so hypersexual. Or that could be why they're a certain way, closed off or what, abusive or whatever. They become their, they've now become their abuser. The abuse have not has now become, or they could have been in a very abusive partnership with somebody. They've not, or they could have been with a user or been used in the past, and now they're becoming like that. Man, it's, this could even be a whole man. Or if you're a man, you're coming across, you're dealing with a woman that's like this, and that's, or a woman that are like this because of that. That's not your problem, whoever is dealing with it. Gemini, Aries, definitely go watch Aries. Definitely go watch Aries. Uh, Gemini, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, they got 999, and Aquarius, Aries, got 666, so go watch Aquarius or Aries. Yeah, somebody, Jupiter and Leo, somebody is not happy, they're not, their life is not, they, they're trying, they, they, on, if it, on social media, it looks like they're living life, or they're happy, they got their little family, somebody's in something, it's like, they're not, they, they, the nine of cups is like, you know, I'm content, you know, my sexual needs are being met, I'm getting what I need to get by, that's it, but it's not the whole thing, and all these nines like this, somebody is just, they're, they're selfish, so they're going to be with selfish people or a selfish person pretending. Yeah, somebody's not happy with whoever they're with. Moon and Cancer. 
That's why it pays to let people go when you see this, the red flags or when people want to leave you, they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to, they don't want to own up to their responsibilities. It pays to let people go so you don't get yourself hurt. If you got kids and people don't want to be good parents, good mothers, good fathers, it pays. Don't force nobody to do anything that they don't, they don't want to do because you don't know what people are thinking and conjuring up to do. It doesn't, it's not worth it. The money's not worth it. The status isn't worth it. The position isn't worth it. The image isn't worth it. The stability isn't worth it. It's not worth somebody's health and safety of yours, kids, or whoever's. It's not. Or your future partnerships. It's not worth it. Somebody is not happy. They just act like they are. They put on this front. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, justice in reverse. Somebody, uh, Libra energy. You or somebody can have Libra in their chart. Somebody here is really bitter. Yeah, this person is traumatized. They have inner work to do and they're in denial about it. So this person's life is a mess. Somebody has a big ego. Somebody here could be biracial um, or light skin. Somebody can have like a light skin God. You know, somebody can have like a, a colorism complex, man or woman. Uh, what's this justice in reverse? Or they with somebody that does. Or they got colorism issues. I don't know. Maybe you're light skin and they don't like you. Or this person's light skin and they think they're better than you. Man or woman. It don't matter. Justice in reverse. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. Yeah, somebody can't hide much longer. Somebody is being exposed or outed. A group of people could be suing. This could be a civil suit. Or a group of women or men are coming out about something. Virgo here. Somebody can have Virgo in your chart. You or them. Somebody is trying to avoid this disaster. Or avoid something from changing or coming out. Somebody hates change. Somebody's going through a lot of unwanted changes. Somebody has a lot of inner child um, wounds. They can have mommy issues. This is be and I did it. Your last reading was about this. It, how it is beyond sad. This is beyond sad. Your last reading was go watch. This is like an extension to your last reading. For those of you who maybe need a more clarity, maybe I feel like a lot of y'all wanted because that reading got a lot of views. Y'all could have and th thank you for my Tauruses and Aries who subscribed um, off that video because my subscribers have went up really tremendously from that video. I feel like a lot of y'all could want more clear. And you know, my readings are pretty long. I try to give it as much clarity. I try to make it to, you know, not everybody has kids. Not everybody's in with baby mama, baby daddy drama. Not everybody, you know, sometimes it's not even, sometimes it's your friends, it's your coworkers, it's your neighbors. You know, it's people that you just dated briefly or slept with or whatever. I try to make it as, general you know because it is a general reading um i try to make it as you know where it can suit as many you know i do my best to make it detailed as possible you know but you know you take what resonates and leave what doesn't but yeah hermit in reverse this person is doing no shadow work they don't want to take no accountability for something they just want to be in their ego this one they just want to front for, for, for the for the gram they just want to front like they're doing good like they're happy and they're miserable yeah empress in reverse somebody here there could be an unwanted or unexpected pregnancy they don't have shit to give this child so they're trying to come and ask you for things to give that's crazy and that's really disrespectful very disrespectful very disrespectful Extremely disrespectful. That's crazy. Some of y'all, they were a half-ass. This could even be a, your, your parent. You can have a parent who is a half-ass parent to you, but they were a parent to the other siblings, the other kids, even somebody else's kids based on whoever they was dealing with. And they want to come and they need your help after all these years. Now they want your help. This could be your father or your mother for some of you. Absolutely not. And if some of y'all, if y'all have kids with this person, they could have taken care of everybody else but y'all kids or a child, and now they want something from you. Absolutely not. And if this is about, a, if you don't have kids, and it's not that, this could be a sibling, a friend, an ex-lover, whoever. They shit it on you, and now they want, no, that's crazy, and that's really disrespectful. It's a very, somebody here, they don't know your worth and value, and they don't, and they don't know their own. 
somebody's okay with being undervalued as long as they have something and someone. Somebody can't be alone. Her, they have ready back codependency issues. Hermit in reverse. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Moon and Sagittarius. Somebody here could have been locked up and something could have happened to them in jail when they were a teenager or whenever they was in there for some of y'all. Moon and Sagittarius. Somebody is traumatized. Somebody is really paranoid. They feel really isolated. They're, they're, they're just, they're, something's, somebody's mental health is getting worse. Nine of Wands in reverse. This person is unraveling. Ten of Wands in reverse. Saturn and Sagittarius. Somebody could be having a nervous breakdown. This, they're not, they can't handle this karma. They can't handle this back. They can't handle this. They can't handle what's happening to them. Somebody can't. They're not going to be able to handle this. Honestly, you feel bad for this person. You know, don't. And, you know, listen, y'all grown. Okay. Uh, you know, don't. If y'all save this person, they, they're they never going to learn. And, you know, unfortunately, for some of y'all, somebody's going to have to. And then they could have been abusive to you when y'all were together. Like I said, they could have abused you, criticized you, been you know, whatever they was to you, man or woman, woman could be abusive too. It's not just men, it's men. You know, I know how, I know I have men on my channel. Some of y'all, there could be a man that's being abused and they got to act like, they got to pretend like everything's okay in public. Like they happy with somebody, but they're not. They're being abused by somebody. So they, this somebody here could be really short, skinny, and they be, but they got, they be beating, they be getting the best of somebody. Somebody likes having control and power. They like having somebody in a weakened state. They somebody here likes to um, take advantage of people's vulnerability. Somebody's a predator. Also, uh, it, it's it's going to be it's different levels. Okay, so whatever. But what's this four of cups? Something's beating a dead horse. The hangman. I just heard somebody's about to be outside with a cup out. Yeah, four of wands in reverse. Somebody, four of wands in reverse. Somebody could be losing their home. Somebody here could have moved across the city or state or country. And they could be losing their home. There's fighting in a family or home dynamic or community. Again, there could be hostility at a workplace. Some of y'all could need to get, your, get to a different department or start your own shit. The hangman, Pisces energy. Somebody feels stuck. They're unhappy. They're miserable. They're in this self-absorbed energy. Things are delayed and put on pause for them because they need to get out this fake shit. What's the hangman? Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. Yeah, this could be a, a couple. King and Queen of Cups in reverse. They ain't, there's no love there. <laughs> they, ain't, they don't love each other. They don't like each other. They're just codependent or they just been with each other for a long time or they don't want to lose their investment that's not growing. <laughs> King of Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody's really emotionally manipulative. Heavy Pisces over there. What's this uh, Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Somebody is cold. They're mean. They're aloof. Or this could be how you and this person are to each other. Somebody could be going through a divorce or they need to. Somebody didn't follow their heart and now they in this fake ass family shit. They're miserable. They're bitter. It's, they, they could be under some type of spell work. And when you in survival mode, people are going to do what they need to do to feel like they have to survive. In some cultures, doing spell work on, on their husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, baby mamas, baby daddies is very, it's a normal thing to keep the man or keep the family together as a survival mechanism or survival technique. And that's why with that hair in reverse, there could be a lot of outdated beliefs, outdated views. Um, somebody here is just, they in some shit. Somebody's in deeply in survival mode, but somebody's really cold, they're mean, they're really just, somebody's an ice queen. That This could be you, some of y'all could be, and y'all could have a lot of trauma with this person because you kept dealing with them and now they got you in this ice queen energy and you're attracting people that are marrying that back to you. People that are also emotionally unavailable. Ice king, ice queen, whatever. Queen of swords here, Virgo, uh, Libra energy. Somebody could be a September Virgo, September Libra. What's this queen of swords? Page of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody's emotionally manipulative. They're cold, they're a liar. They don't really tell, they tell half truths. They tell truths. If it suits them, if they feel like something, if they feel like telling the truth is gonna, is gonna, is not gonna suit them at that moment, they won't tell the truth or they will keep some things to themselves. 
Somebody could be trying to shut somebody up, blackmail them, scare them. Somebody could also be trying to curse somebody uh, with their words, their mind. This could be somebody in your family who's jealous of you. I just heard something about a cousin. Or you can have kids with somebody that's like this and this is somebody in their energy or a friend of theirs, whoever they're dealing with now or their, whoever's in their family or whatever. Or to yours, a co-worker. Somebody is just not learning. Somebody knows something is wrong, but they're so emotionally immature, so emotionally stunted that they just, somebody's in the, these, in the, some, these people or this person's inner child, their inner child is so wounded. These people or this person has become their abuser. And it's, 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 it's really, I don't even, it's, I'm, lo I'm a loss for words. What's, let's get some self care. Somebody is scatterbrained too. This could be somebody so much in their feelings. They're scatterbrained. Or they were trying to have you this way. Somebody could be really moody, really se overly sensitive. Somebody could be snapping a lot. Somebody could be really sarcastic, throwing shade, really passive aggressive. What else? Somebody also is trying to be in somebody else's identity. I keep getting that. This could be a couple, a person, or somebody's trying to use somebody else's identity. Somebody here is also committing fraud in some kind of way. So be careful with who you share information with or leave your state IDs and shit around, your passports, paperwork. Send their ass to jail. Baby father, baby mother or not, ex or not, family member or not, friend or not, co-worker or not, neighbor or not. Send their ass to jail. Grandma or, pa or grandpa or not. Send their ass to jail. Sister or brother or not. Cousin, whoever. Send their ass to jail. Let's get some self-care. Some of y'all have emotionally overextended yourself to this person and is even you fucking scatterbrained, man or woman. It's even you moody, chanting them. A, somebody could be chanting some stuff or some of y'all need to chant some prayers or something. We got, yeah, clear your energy field. Some of y'all need to clear your energy. Do an A cleanse. Y'all, I did an A cleanse. Today is Friday. I did an A cleanse yesterday, which would be Thursday. And... I found sixty dollars. I did. I had to do two. I did one. I put it in a cup. I put it in a, a, a mason jar of water so I can see what the what it looked like. You know, to, so I can read it. The first one, it uh, it was like oh, I had to do a second one based on the based on um, the reading of it. I had to do a second one. I did the, I did a second one. It was better. Still some you know evil eye. You know, still some stuff. I took a shower after to cleanse that off was getting hit on and attention left and right also skin cleared up and i found sixty dollars on the floor on the ground yesterday sixty dollars y'all so i'm not gonna need to clear your energy field um we gotta use your hands number 53 okay um, some of y'all could be into part of you, or you can need to do something with your hands. Yeah, beauty ritual number beauty rich ritual number five. Some of y'all can need to do like it's a, and today is Friday. I'm doing your day, I'm doing your reading on Venus Day, but it's gonna be uploaded Saturday. Um, but some of y'all somebody's life path could be five. You could be born on the fifth, the eighth. Somebody could be a life path five or eight for some of y'all. Um, somebody could be born on the eighteenth, the ninth, or be a life path nine. But um, some of y'all can want to get your, you can need to get your nails done, your hair done. If you're a man, get a haircut. If you're a man, get a facial too. Woman, same thing. If, you know, pedic men and women get pedicures and they get manicures, it don't matter. Um, y'all can want to get your hair done. Some of y'all, if you're a man, uh, you could be, a, you could, yeah, somebody, yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, self-care. But some of y'all can need to use your hands. Some of y'all could be really good at pottery, crocheting, knitting, painting. We got, some of y'all could be a life path two, a life path 11. Somebody could be born on the 20th. Okay, dream journal here or the second of the month. Some of y'all could need to spend some more time alone. Pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are going to be exposing people. Some of y'all need some positive affirmations. 
to tell you. Some of y'all need to get more rest and clean your space. And we got hydrate. Some of y'all could be dehydrated. You could like to drink tea or need to drink some more herbal tea. We got create art. Some of y'all could have create art, uh, creative blockages. Some of y'all used to draw, you used to sketch, and you stopped. Okay, for whatever reason. Somebody could be born on the 27th or the 15th. Somebody could be age 43. But clean your space and get some rest, Taurus. Okay, I know this is disappointing and disrespectful, but this is what you needed to know. This was your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.